Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be speaking to you about members. So members are the one-dimensional elements of a structure. Most commonly they are used to model beams and struts under applied loads. So I've created this member here, member number one, and you'll notice that it's a straight line with its ID in the middle. There are different ways to create members and I'll be going through each one of those now. So the first way is to use the menu and the form inside the members area. So if clicking into that, I want to create a member between nodes 1 and 4. So I simply specify nodes 1 and 4. We haven't specified any sections yet, so I'll just leave this as a value of 1 at the moment. And we have some fixity values, and we haven't dealt with fixities just yet, and, but it will be covered in a separate video. And we also have some advanced values which allow you to specify whether they take compression and tension, whether the member has been rotated, and if you need to provide any displacement offsets um, in case members are not aligned by the center line. However, I'm going to keep things simple for this video, and I'm just going to create a member between nodes 1 and 4 with the default settings. So data has been applied and the member has been drawn. The next way is by using the data sheet. So you can see all the existing members and if I wanted to create a member between nodes 4 and 3, I simply specify 4, 3 and I'll keep all the other values the same. So I'll th I'm going to hit apply here. Again data has been applied and I've created this third member here. The last way is the most convenient way to add members and all you need to do is click into one node, drag the cursor, hover over the ending node, and release your mouse. And in doing so, I've created the last member number four. I hope this video has been informative. I hope to catch you in the next one.